All right, so it is now time for culmination. Before the culmination day does come, um, be sure that you've figured out which students are going to be eligible for which raffles. So if you open up your teacher's manual to page, I think it's three, four, to page four, um, this is the incentive sheet. So this is what you can go through, and just a reminder that um, anyone who had perfect attendance is, can be put into that raffle, anyone who turned in the Students Teaching Families worksheet, and anyone who completed their project record. So all of those, um, each of those is a raffle. Anyone who was eligible for all three is in the grand prize raffle. So, um, and you can base that on also what's in the Google Docs spreadsheet, like for attendance and everything. Okay, so once that's done and it's time for culmination, I'm just going to kind of go through the agenda. The agenda can also be found on the last page, page 20, of your teacher manual. So everything can be found here as well. I'm just going to quickly run through it. So the first thing you're going to do is give the post tests. These are the same exact tests that they took the first week. They can be found in your culmination packet. So Again, it's the health behavior survey and the nutrition knowledge test. Just go over it again with them that they need to complete it, put their name, their school, the date, and fill out all the questions, not to skip any, uh, and that one of them is two-sided. So after you give the post-test, you're going to go ahead and do a welcome, pass around the sign-in sheet, and acknowledge any special guests that might be present. So there could be Kaiser representatives, after school agency representatives, any adult mentors who are there, and just kind of introduce them, explain who they are, and encourage students to applaud for them. So once the welcome is done, you, the students are going to present their projects. So for this, each you're going to have each group present their task and how they accomplished it, and what you've already planned out with the order that they're going to do it, so they should already be prepared and have their little speeches prepared as well. Um, you're going to have students describe the immediate and long-term impact that this will have on the health of the students in the school and have students explain how this project is going to be sustainable. So how is it going to keep going in the future? Um, what, after they've done their presentations, you're going to present their cert certificates. So um, you'll be given certificates for each of the students. Um, you're going to call each one up one at a time to the front of the room and give them their certificate. Once everyone has their certificate, we want to take a big group picture of everyone holding their certificate. And you can have mentors jump in, the intern, the teacher, everyone, if you want to. Um, after the picture, everyone can sit back down and then we're going to do the raffles. So we're going to raffle off two prizes for perfect attendance, two for turning in the students' teaching families form, two for completing the project record, and then again, the grand prize raffle for everyone, anyone who was in all three raffles. Um, and then after that, you can just hand out raffle tickets to everyone and raffle off whatever prizes you have left in the black bag um, from the program. Um, then you'll just do your closing statement. So here you're just going to encourage students to really take what they learned in the Take Action program and share the information with their family, their friends, others in their community. And um, also you want to let them know about a Healthy Schools campaign that SOS Mentor has every year. Um, it takes place in the spring, and all they have to do is complete, they make a healthy, um, it's like a nutrition and physical activity poster, and they then kind of get the chance to win Disneyland tickets, they could get a new bike, a $100 gift card, um, those are all prizes that they can get for creating this poster. Um, so basically that's it. We really hope that you found these training videos helpful and that you and the students learned a lot about how to make environmental changes to improve your health and the health of other students, family members, community members. Um, thank you again for participating in the Take Action program.